Welcome to the Oasis. My name is Mike, and today we're going to be discussing a recent article from Upload VR showing some supposedly leaked images of an upcoming virtual reality headset from Valve. Now, is this a genuine leak or some clever marketing on Valve's behalf? Nobody really knows right now. But is this exciting? Absolutely. So in today's video, I'm going to be diving deeper into these photos to get as much information as possible and giving you my thoughts on what this actually means and is this something that's viable and possibly something we can look forward to seeing in the very near future. Now what we do know is that Valve have been public over the years about developing Knuckles controllers for virtual reality which will be compatible with the Steam platform, but they've never mentioned about making a headset of their own. Now this is completely plausible as Valve aren't new to making their own hardware and previously developed and manufactured the Steam controller and the Steam Link. So it's completely possible they could be manufacturing their own virtual reality headsets which they could sell directly through Steam like they do already with the Vive. So I've been studying these leaked images and I'm going to be going into a bit more detail, zooming in and out to try and get as much information as possible and I'll be giving you my thoughts on what that means. So I hope you guys and girls enjoy this one and without further ado, let's dive in. Okay, so this is the first image from the four images that were provided and uploaded by Upload VR. Now we don't have a source of where the images come from, that's going to be anonymous. Uh, we don't have any more information about that, but there is a lot of credibility in these images and I'll go through that right now. But first off, before we talk about the headset itself, let's talk about the date and time. If you look here on the left hand side on the computer monitor, you'll see that the date is the 25th of July 2018. Now that would suggest that at the time of this video, it's almost been four months since these photos were taken. And that's really interesting because the headsets themselves kind of look like they're in their final stages of development. They look like a finished product pretty much. So this could mean that we could be expecting an announcement from Valve over the next few months about this headset's official launch. So let's dive into the headset's design itself. Now at the back you can see that the headset sports a head strap and built-in audio very similar to that of the deluxe audio strap for the Vive. Now if you look at the very far back here you'll see a ratchet system very similar to the deluxe audio strap so that you can tighten the dial down and bring the headset closer to your face so it fits right snug on your head. Now if we look at the headphones, they look like they're on-ear design with an open back. Unlike the Vive Pro's over-ear cup system, which personally I didn't like, I prefer this design which is more akin to the Rift's on-ear headphones, so I'm definitely welcoming this headphone design. Now if you look at the back cushion, it features a mottled grey material, which is the same mottled grey material found on the Knuckles controllers that we've seen recently from images and videos from the select developers that already have access to them. If we look further down, the headset features two front-facing cameras located at the bottom of the front plate on either side. Now it's unlikely that these are for inside-out tracking like the Windows Mixed Reality platform as this headset does feature lighthouse tracking diodes which just show just under the sort of plastic and I'll show you that more closely in another image. Now if you look here it looks like there's a cable tidy here that will run the cable from the front of the headset all the way to the back of the strap so the cable will hang over your back rather than be in your way at the front of you. But one of the most intriguing parts of the design is that at the front of the headset it features a rectangular recess with a USB 3 port inside. Now it looks to me like this could be the exact shape of a leap motion. Now if you're not familiar with leap motion, it's a sensor that can be used for hand tracking and it does a pretty good job of it actually and it's been around for a while now but recently we haven't really heard more about it so it could be for a leap motion or there's a lot of speculation on the internet that this could be for something else. It could be like for a battery pack so the headset could be used wirelessly for example. But I'd love to know if you've got any ideas or suggestion about what this little recess could be used to house. I'd be really intrigued to know your thoughts. 
Now the second image doesn't really give us any more information than the first, so we'll skip over that one and jump straight to image three, which shows the front of the headset with the front plate taken off, so we get a better look at the PCB itself. Now, as I mentioned on the previous image, I think the recess could be for a leap motion. And I sort of photoshopped what that might look like with this sort of uh, faceplate in place and a leap motion in the middle. But again, I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments down below. Now, if we go back to the main image itself, you can see now that you've got a closer look of these little small circles dotted around the front, top and sides of the headset. And like I said before, it's likely that this is gonna be the lighthouse tracking diodes, just like that feature on the Vive, the Vive Pro and the Pimax. Now, as you can see here on the PCB on the left hand side, you can see the Valve logo stamped on the PCB itself. And this is what really gave this more credibility. And you can see it again stamped on the headset in the background here, which is a little bit blurred. At the bottom of this image underneath the PCB, you can see the gears of a mechanical uh, IPD adjustment. So IPD adjustment is where you can adjust the spacing of the displays so it matches your eyes. Uh, so if you've got a particular IPD, which is the distance between your uh, pupils, then you can set it up appropriately so the image looks perfectly in focus. On the PCB itself, you can see ribbon cables. Uh, the two lower ones are likely for the two front facing cameras cameras and the two here in the center are likely to be for the display panels. What we also note here is that it says on the board itself that this board is revision 5 which would suggest that Valve have been developing a headset like this for some time now and we're almost coming to the final stages of a design which then they might be ready to announce to the public very soon. Now there's a little note underneath the headset and it seems to me that it says panels do not enumerate consistently. And I'm not really sure what that could mean. Maybe it could mean that the display panels that they've been using don't uh, number in order, or there's something wrong with the sort of batch codes of some of the products that they've been using within this headset. But if you've got any suggestions about this, again, I'd love to know in the comments down below. Now that we don't have the faceplate on the front, we also get a better look at the USB port here on the right hand side. And like I said previously, my speculation is it could be for a leap motion type device or like I've read on Reddit uh, some of the suggestions are that it could be a battery pack to power this headset so it could be completely wireless. Now we, if we look at the lenses themselves they look very similar to the lenses on the Vive Pro that I've got here. They look like Fresnel lenses as you can see the ridges in the lenses themselves. Now from the actual article from Upload VR they suggest that their source is indicating that these could be wider and bigger lenses that will offer a greater field of view up to potentially 135 degrees. Now as we know the Vive and the Oculus Rift have a field of view currently right now of 110 degrees. So it's a slightly wider field of view headset and they're stating that it could feature a display resolution similar to that of the Vive Pro. Now, if you take that resolution into account with the wider field of view, that could mean that it could have a pretty similar resolution to what we're currently experiencing with the Vive and the Oculus Rift currently. On the top left, it looks like it's got a big gap for where a cable could be slotted in and that's exactly where the cable slots in on the Rift and the Vive so that would make sense. What we don't see here is any sort of faceful interface with any padding or anything or any sort of design for a nose gap. Now what we do see is the four slots here and that's likely where a facial interface can slot into place. So it'll be interesting to see if Valve goes with a closed nose gap design similar to that of the Vive Pro or an open nose gap design similar to that of the Oculus Rift. Now I think this leak is super exciting because this means that there could be more competition in the market space and that's great for us as consumers as it drives down prices as more competition and gets more people developing for all these different headsets which ultimately means more games for us. And now that I'm talking about games there was something in the Upload VR article that really stood out for me and got me even more excited than the headset itself and that is that there is a suggestion that Valve may be making the hardware and some software to go with it. And this is really exciting because there's been speculation over many, many years that Valve have been working on a Half-Life 3. And the speculation is in the article that a Half-Life game 
may be bundled with this. And this would mean that Valve are taking more of a Nintendo approach, making the hardware and making the software bundle together and showing in that software how to best use the hardware to its fullest potential and giving developers out there a sort of golden standard of this is what you can achieve with this system. Now, can you imagine a bundle of the headset with the Knuckles controllers and some first party VR games from Valve? Now that would be absolutely incredible. And I guess just like the Steam controllers and the Steam Link, this would be sold directly through Steam itself. Now what we know is that Valve haven't made any VR content since the lab demo, which is over two years ago when the Vive first released. We have also do know though that they've made a recent demo showing off the new Knuckles controllers. The interesting thing about the Knuckles controllers is that they feature finger tracking. So you can completely let go of this controller and then it will track your individual finger movement. It will also determine how hard you're gripping the controller so you can squish items or break items in your hand depending on the amount of force you put on the controller itself. Now the great thing about the Knuckles controllers is that they also feature a thumbstick and a touchpad. So like we've seen with the Vive uh, wand controllers it just features a large touchpad in the centre which for me hasn't always been an ideal input method for VR. I've always preferred the thumbstick on the Rift controllers uh, over the Vive ones. Now it's great that they're going to get a mix of both of these systems in the Knuckles controllers and what we know is that this is going to be compatible with any Steam VR headset. So we know that it's going to be compatible with the Vive, we know it's going to be compatible with the Pimax and now potentially it's going to be compatible with this coming headset from Valve themselves. So whilst I was doing some research for this video I also came across a comment on Reddit and this is comment from JTER. KUC and he was linking to a trademark registration recently filed from Valve for the name of Valve Index. Now this is really interesting because it was only just recently that this was filed. So could this mean that this could be the name for the headset uh, or the Knuckles controllers for itself? Like this could be a new name. So what do you think of the name Valve Index? Do you think this could be for the controllers or do you think this could be for the headset or do you think this is for something completely unrelated? I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments down below. So there we have it guys and girls. That's the information that I could gather from these images. And like I said before, I think this is super super exciting and I for one welcome a new headset coming from Valve especially if they're going to be developing hardware and software along with each other and they come together in some sort of bundle that gets me super excited because Valve are responsible for making some of the best games Half-Life Portal, Left 4 Dead, and if they're making some VR adaptions of these games well that is super exciting for me now I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments down below of these leaks. Do you think they're genuine? Do you think it's clever marketing on Valve's behalf? And are you excited about, about some first party Valve games? I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments down below. Leave a like if you like the video, make sure you're subscribed for all my future content, and as always, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.